I think I found the perfect solution for every Mac user out there that wants to use a studio setup without having to have the big PC. So today I was sent out this docking station by Yoto Master. This is the Thunderbolt 4. So let's get into it and set it up and let's see if they live up to their name of making every bike treasurable. So let's talk some specs while I unbox this and get this baby set up. So the ports on the Thunderbolt 4 provide extremely high data transfer speeds of up to 40 gigabytes per second. You can quickly transfer a large amount of data, backup files, edit videos, or work on large projects through the Thunderbolt 4 as well. So that's whether you're in your home office, your workplace, or even mobile work environments, the 40 gigabytes USB-C dock offers high speed transferable and flexible connectivity options to meet your desired work needs. And this hub is actually equipped with 12 ports, including one upstream Thunderbolt 4 port with 40 gigabytes per second at 85 watts, one downstream Thunderbolt 4 port at 40 gigabytes per second at 15 watts, one display port 1.4, one HDMI 2.0 video port, one USB A 3.2, 10 gigabytes per second, one USB C 3.2 at 10 gigabytes per second, and two USB A 2.0 ports at 480 megabytes per second. There's also one ethernet port, an SD or TF 3.0 card reader slot, a 3.5 combo audio jack and 130 watts power supply. So this thing is packing. Also with the daisy chain feature, you can actually connect and manage multiple devices through a single Thunderbolt 4 docking station, which is simplifying the complexity of connections and wiring. So simply plug the Thunderbolt 4 dock into the Thunderbolt 4 port on your computer and connect other devices in the chain. So this allows you to easily access and manage all of your external devices reducing interference clutter and tangled cables. Thunderbolt 4 USB-C docking station features the 85 watt power delivering charger. This provides charging support for your devices. You can charge your laptops, smartphone, tablet, and other devices through the power ports connected to the Thunderbolt dock, reducing the number of charges and clutter. And not only that, the Thunderbolt 4 actually supports dual display outlets, allowing you to connect two displays simultaneously and expand your workspace to enjoy better multitasking capabilities. Computers with a TB4 or a USB4 port can extend an 8K display at 30 hertz or two 4K displays at 60 hertz. But if you do have any questions or queries or issues, I know their support team and their customer service is top notch. So now let's show some of the features of using this in the workspace and displaying my MacBook onto multiple monitors. All right, so as you can see, I've got the MacBook here and then this screen is actually my vertical screen. I've had to turn it. Got all the cables managed underneath, so I didn't want to use these two displays here. So I opted for the HDMI that went over on this one. It was a lot easier to get to without having to destroy the whole setup to get the cable. So as you can see though, it is working absolutely fine. If I move out the way it was, you go from one one screen over to the left it automatically puts it into a expanded mode now I have noticed it does use an old wallpaper this is the new wallpaper I have in the MacBook that's my old wallpaper that I used to have so I don't know how it's done that that's beyond my uh, my expertise I'll explain the whole setup so it's quite simple as you can see in the back you've just got your power and HDMI you also have a display port here as well and then on the front you just connect into the Thunderbolt and then into your laptop or your MacBook, or whatever you're using. And in the front, you've got your 10 gigabyte USB-C and then your 10 gigabyte USB-2. And then also your 80 watt charging out here. So you could charge your phone, a laptop, a tablet, whatever on that one. On the back, you've got your ethernet cable and your two USBs for a mouse and keyboard if you really wanted to. And then obviously your SD card slots or TF and SD there. So it gives you a nice selection of options there. This thing is made out of full aluminium or aluminium, however you say it. And I mean, the quality of the build is fantastic. It looks sleek. And now a cool feature about this is say that you want to dock your MacBook somewhere in like a slot that's on your desk. All you have to do is simply close it down and it will put everything onto this screen here. You can then dock your MacBook and that's out of the way. Get your, get your keyboard and mouse plug them into here and you are raring to go on one screen. Or like they say, if you wanna put a display port in there too, you can have a display port and a HDMI port. And for me, that's quite handy because I do have obviously three monitors here for my PC. It would be nice to be able to utilize the MacBook on a separate screen 
over here. So I could do the photo editing over on my MacBook over here, and then my main editing station will be on these two screens in front of me. So this is one amazing way to utilize having a docking station if you have a laptop or a MacBook and a PC on the side. So if your PC is more for the photography and your MacBook's great at editing, you can, you can switch and do whatever you need to. So like I said, for me, my MacBook would be mainly for photos and things like that on the go. I could take a portable monitor, but obviously this thing has to be plugged into an outlet. That's the only downfall with a lot of docking stations. They have to be plugged in directly to a mains to function properly. So in terms of a docking station, if you are in the market, I definitely recommend looking at the Thunderbolt 4. You need to plug certain hard drives in. This thing's gonna transfer your data at 40 gigabytes per second incredibly fast. Obviously it does depend on the hard drive or the SSD that you are using, depending on the writing speed and the reading speed. Going back to the actual docking station itself, it's a little bit warm, but it's not enough to be countable as, you know, starting a fire or anything like that. It is just where the components obviously get warm with inside the metal shell. But there is four little grooves on the top here that allow air and heat to repel from to keep this at a nice temperature. That's a little demonstration. Obviously that's the setup. I will be setting this up properly so it will go underneath here and it's gonna be mwah, chef's kiss. So if you wanna check out the Yoto Master, Thunderbolt 4 in the description. Go ahead and check it out. It is well worth the money. They have plenty of us on there if you're not looking for this specific model. They have a crazy amount that you can look through. So go in the description and check that out. And while you're down there, give this video a like, hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any further uploads. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below and I'll sure get back to you with an answer at my best ability. But other than that, remember, capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next video.